Hi everyone, it's Gary House, the Outdoor Cook, and I am putting together my version of pork chili verde. Start out going through the ingredients and we'll take it from there. First thing I'm going to be using is a Camp Chef 12 inch Dutch oven. This is their muley. And I'm going to get some heat going on this so that we can get our pork going. And as I've told you before, when you're dealing with hot coals, you absolutely do not want to touch it with your bare hands. So while we're preheating this, let's talk about a little bit what we're going to do. Um, I have pork that's cubed, maybe one inch cubes. And this uh, traditionally I believe is cooked with pork butt and I'm using pork loin. A little bit of Crisco, two large onions, half to a cup of flour, a teaspoon of oregano, um, cilantro, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a cup of uh, red wine, salsa verde sauce, two cans of chicken broth, two cans of diced chilies, two cans of pinto beans, one can of diced tomatoes, salt, pepper, and two cloves of garlic. So the first thing we're going to do is get our pork ready. It's already been washed and cubed. So I'll be adding a couple pinches of salt, a couple pinches of pepper, half a cup of flour. Get that all mixed up. Nicely coated, no mess version. Get some Crisco on our pot. Maybe half teaspoon. Not a lot. To this, we're going to get our onions going. Pork's going to go on there, and as we're cooking the pork, we're going to be sautéing our onion, and then we're going to be adding our uh, our garlic right after that. The onion, <clears throat> I would assume that you could use a red onion. Uh, I'm not, obviously. I'm using just a regular yellow onion. I believe this is traditional, so I'm certainly not the expert on this. Probably would not use a sweet onion. We have Crisco fairly well melted. We have flour it. Flour pork to that. And we're going to be browning that up. Just chopped. Fairly healthy chunks. As you know, I like to taste just about every piece that's in there. Constantly. Avoiding mincing. I avoid smashing 
<laughs> anything with little pieces, I try to avoid it. I want chunks. It's just my style. That's it, nothing fancy. The way I like it. Pork a little bit of a stir here. Get some color there, looking nice. And we'll uh, get our garlic going. There's three cloves of garlic. I don't know if you've ever used one of these. Uh, you see a lot of people taking their garlic and just giving it a good pound, smashing it down. Uh, I like this. It's a garlic peeler. Uh, it is the most clever thing in the world. I think it cost me all of four and a half bucks. Uh, put your garlic in there, roll it back to four, and it just takes it right off. Super fast, super easy. And you know that's what I like. Might see the Dutch oven dog Bailey wandering around here. She just got done eating and now she's slurping up a bunch of water. And like any good dog, she'll be sniffing and smelling and joining us here throughout the cooking process. And again, I am not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to be chunking this up. This is probably as small as I'm going to go with garlic and that looks just about fine. Each clove I'm cutting lengthwise three times and then taking eighth inch slices out of it. Not professional, not worried about it. Cooking outdoors let's get our pork browned up and it'll be right back. 